In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, and welcome to the Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. In all humility altogether we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, our Virgin. May we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants not to those who only adhere to the law but to those who follow the faith of abraham who is the father of all of us as it is written i have made you father of many nations he is our father in the sight of god in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead, and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, Thus shall your descendants be. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. He remembers forever His covenant, which He made binding for a thousand generations, which He entered into with Abraham and by His oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. For He remembered His holy word to His servant Abraham, and he led forth his people with joy, with shouts of joy, 
his chosen ones. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please stand. The Spirit of Truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what your defense will be, or about what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang Espiritu Santo ang nagbibigay ng liwanag sa ating isipan. At ang liwanag sa ating isipan ang gumagabay sa atin kung anong ating gagawin, kung ano ang ating sasabihin. Kaya ang liwanag ng Espiritu Santo ang siyang gumagabay sa mga salita na lumalabas sa ating bibig. Sige na alaala ninyo, naranasan niyo to. Yung bang Litong-lito kayo, gulong-gulo yung utak nyo. Pero nang may nagtanong, tama ang sagot ninyo. Kung maaaring kayo ay kinakabahan, natatakot, natataranta, pero nang pinagsalita, aba maganda, maayos yung mga sinabi mo. Kung maaaring ikaw ay inaaway, Pinoprovoke. Pero, nang magsalita ka, mahinahon, mapayapa. Maganda rin sinabi mo. Kaya tuloy, pagkatapos doon, sasabihin mo, ba? Paano ko nasabi yun? Saan ko kinuha, kinuha mga sinabi ko? Parang hindi ako nagsalita eh. Parang may nagsalita sa akin. Yan ang Espiritu Santo ang nagsasalita sa iyo. Itong sinabi sa ating Ebanghelyo, The Holy Spirit will teach you what to say. Ibig sabihin, pag pinananahanan tayo ng Espiritu Santo, nagkaroon ng linaw at liwanag ang ating isipan, parang laging tama ang ating sinasabi. Nasa atin ng liwanag ng Espiritu Santo. At ang liwanag ng Espiritu Santo na sa atin ay bunga ng taimtim na pagdadasal. Kasi ang pagdadasal, pakipag-usap sa Diyos. E kung lagi kang nakipag-usap sa Diyos, dahil sa taimtim na pagdadasal, maba nagiging malapit ka sa Kanya at napupuno ka ng mga bagay na makadiyos. Kaya naiipon mo, yung mga bagay na magaganda, yung maayos, yung tama, yung mga bagay na kapaki-pakinabang na magagamit mo kapag kakailangan kang magsalita. Di ba? Anong sabi nila? From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. E kung napupuno tayo ng biyaya ng Espiritu Santo dahil sa pamalagian nating pagdadasal at pakipag-usap sa Diyos, napupuno ang ating puso ng bagay na makadiyos. Kaya nang lumalabas sa atin, 
At tinan yung ekspresyon ninyo, ha? Pag nagulat kayo, nabigla kayo, anong lumalabas sa bibig ninyo? Hala, baka yan ang puno. O yan ang sa puso ninyo. Kailangan natin yun bang yung liwanag ng Espiritu Santo ang siyang gumabay lagi sa atin. Lalong-lalo na sa panahon natin ngayon. Abay, wala pa yung eleksyon na eh, mainit na yung kampanya. At hindi lang umiinit. Eh pumapangit. Kasi kuminsan, batuhan na ng putik eh. Hindi na maganda eh. Siraan na eh. At kuminsan, bastusan na nga eh. At eto ha, kuminsan, dahil sa social media, pag may nababasa tayo na yung bang sinisiraan yung ating kandidato, abang gusto natin sumagot eh. Papatul tayo. Pero, anong sabi ng ating ibang helio? Dahan-dahan, hinay-hinay, magpabigla-bigla, magpadala sa emosyon, magdasal ka. Hindi lang mag-isip, magdasal ka. Pahintulutan mo ang Espiritu Santo na siyang magsalita sa iyo. Kaya di ba minsan, sa mga sandali na lahat ay uh, yung parang very stressful na yung ano, yung sitwasyon. Tapos, may nasabi kang maganda. Nasabihin nila sa pagtawasan, Aba, inspired na inspired ka. Ang katagang inspiration nang galing sa wikang Latin. Ibig sabihin nito, inspiro. In sa loob. Ang spiro, paghinga. Ibig sabihin, humihinga sa loob natin ang Espiritu Santo. At pag sa'y huminga palabas, lumalabas din kung ano. Ang sinasabi sa atin ng Diyos Espiritu Santo. Kaya inspired. Ibig sabihin, humihinga sa atin ang Diyos o nilalabas natin ang hininga ng Diyos. Hilingin natin sa ating Panginoon at sa ating mahal na ina. Panginoon, mahal na ina, birhen ng manawag, turuan niyo po kami, turuan mo po ako na yung maging taintim yung dasal ko, yung makipag-usap talaga sa, sa iyo, yung hindi lang puro hingi, yung makipag-usap talaga, yung namasuri ko yung sarili ko at maramdaman ko na ang lapit-lapit ko sa iyo, Panginoon at Mahal na Ina, magkipag-usap talaga ko sa iyo. Nang sa ganon, ako ay mapuno ng liwanag ng Espiritu Santo. Upang, pag ako ay magsalita, hindi ako naririnig. Narinig nila ang Diyos. Sitayo po tayo. Please stand. God is our light. He tells us what to say. Let us express our trust in Him and pray for all the people with whom we make the journey of life. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to proclaim God's word in the face of contradiction and opposition. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may learn to trust in divine providence, no matter how heavily our troubles weigh upon us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the unemployed may find work and earn their living with dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are burdened with sickness may find comfort in the love and trust of those who take care of them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may experience merciful judgment and everlasting peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of this Mass, and in the silence of our hearts, we present to the Lord our own personal intentions. Father in heaven, 
Help us to always remain faithful to your word and listen to your word so that in our difficulties, we may have the strength to persevere and to always say what is true and right. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that, to the intercession of the Blessed Mary, the Mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise for truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from aids to aids. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. To him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this 
is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Now in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Our Father, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech the Lord your mercy that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikisa sa banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. To the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. Yung may mga pabibindisyonan po, pangyari po lamang napakitaas po ng mga pabindisyonan po ninyo. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oils, copulars, crucifixes, and other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.